Hello, hello. Uganda's favorite Let's Player is here again. You ready to watch me slash at crabs for 10 minutes and not really do anything else? This game's very simple. Okay, defense up, but they don't let you equip it. It's automatic, you see. Automatic, you fool. So we've got a new summon, we've got the, the three lance men or whatever. Like how in uh, the mermaid level in Cuphead they'd have those uh, three ghosts with the swords come out for two seconds and they'd make the foghorn noise. And, in case you didn't know what a foghorn sounds like. Yeah, same premise essentially. Yep, three guys of ethereal nature with sharp objects who only appear for a small amount of time. Yes, indeedy. So, um, I hear they're making a reboot of this game. Did I mention that on the last episode? Well, anyway, I'll say it again. Because they had that, that big Capcom leak a couple of months ago where somebody hacked Capcom and spoiled all of their plans for the next five years. When I first saw that leak, I... I didn't realize there was multiple pages to it, I just saw the first page and I thought, Wow, that's all they're gonna do for the next five years. How oh, sad. But then, um, it the, turns out I was wrong. There was an additional page. That they're gonna do more Chaos Legion and Power Stone and Final Fight and Street Fighter VI. Gosh, I miss the days when games only took a year and a half to make and not like six years. So few games get made overall because of such limitations. I bet that list of Capcom leaks would have been triple the size if we lived in an era where games could be developed more quickly. But sadly, that is not the case. Ah, jeez. It seems today that all you see is crab people in a hack and slash from 2003. But where are those good old fashioned values? Uh, this episode kinda sucks. So, let's see here. You know that one, uh, that one nostalgia channel on YouTube that doesn't have a name, it's just a blank space for the name and the, the profile is just like a, a black and white picture of a little angel creature. You know that guy, right? I just kind of find it perplexing because, uh, you know, he's a nostalgia channel but he seems to be a bit confused as to what era he's nostalgic for. Some of, it, uh, some of it seems to be, you know, early 90s nostalgia, but then at the same time, other videos are like late 2010s nostalgia. I doubt you're going to find a person who's both nostalgic for Nirvana and also the 2009 era early YouTube videos. There is no kid that was around in both 1992 and 2009 and was a kid in both eras. No such person exists. What era is he going for? What era is he going for? Ooh -oh -oh -oh. Uh, here's a big man. So the key to, key to beating him here is to, to slap around that that frontal piece there. You gotta you gotta smack him in the dick. That's what you gotta do. Just like in real life, that's how you defeat all your enemies. When I was at Chuck E. Cheese and the, the Chuck E. Cheese mascot came up to me, I punched him right in the dick. Because I knew I could get away with it. And that's how you get by in life, whenever you're confronted with an enemy. This is fucking stupid. This episode sucks and I hate it. Nothing funny has been said thus far. Let's just switch topics here. You know, the PS4 storage is total garbage. It's complete and total horse shit. They'll tell you you got like 100 gigs on there and then you try to install a 20 gig game. It's all, we don't have enough space for that. And Why did you lie to me, PS4 storage? Why? Oh, SpongeBob, why? 
Okay. This boss is not going that well. Yeah, he's going down at a decent speed. Yeah. So a while ago, I was at work and uh, at the, outside the window of my office, there's another building where they've got uh, an insurance company. I looked out the window and something strange was going on. They had a like a, a crane of sorts with like a big mesh basket onto the end of it reaching into the windows and it was pulling out like lots of cardboard boxes and then smashing them and what was going on over there as Don Knotts would say what's going on over there there needs to be more Don Knotts jokes in the media even though he died like 15 years ago Don Knotts was a funny guy why are there so many ostriches? The brochure said there'd only be a few. Lord Jesus. So, uh, did you guys ever see that uh, Vine Sauce uh, Ghostbusters thing like two years ago? That was pretty good. There is ghost in burger. Anyway, the point I'm getting at here is that that video has really just kind of corrupted my sense of humor. I saw the Ghostbusters logo in a different video in a non-humorous context and it made me just kind of, you know, <laughs> because uh, I can't see the Ghostbusters logo in a non-humorous context anymore. It, it's been completely ruined for me, you see. All I can think about is that silly Nordic man and his songs about the Ghostbusters. Call Ghostbuster, you need to be. They have a machine, they hook it up to your dick. That, that's roughly how the song goes. I don't know, there's like 20 songs in there. You don't expect me to memorize every single one of them for you. Uh, what, what, what other ones were there? It was a, it is me, Ghost Johnson. I will bring back Grandma with drum solo. No refunds. <laughs> Funny stuff. That vine sauce guy. Vine sauce Joel. This area is very red, isn't it? We're going to Redland, where the red man can get ahead, man. Remember that from the inauguration of Barack Obama and that poem they read of? So we got, we got a new summon again. We got archers this time. They kind of suck, though. We should have just kept the sword, sword people. Archers at the ready, as they say in that Lord of the Rings game. What was the official name of that game? I'm referencing it. I just played it at a friend's house once in like 2007-ish. I just remember the archers saying, Archers at the ready? Have you heard of the high elves? <sighs> you think they're ever gonna finish making Elder Scrolls 6? Batman, do you think Half-Life 3 is ever gonna come out? I don't think it's coming out. Maybe if development cycles weren't so completely and utterly ridiculous, we wouldn't have to wait 15 years for the next Elder Scrolls game. Maybe if they'd just stop remaking Skyrim again and again and again. Okay, these enemies are pretty easy as long as you don't stand within their blast radius. You're golden, they can only fire in one direction and why were we made this way? Oh no, I can't turn around either. This is the worst thing ever. Curse you evolution for building us in such a manner. Curse you Charles Darwin. This episode sucks ass. If anybody did watch this all the way to the end, I do apologize. By the way, did you see how fast those enemies were spawning in? Those guys were going fast as fuck, boy. When enemies get there that fast, you don't want to mess with them. You just, you just end your let's play after two episode when the, when the speedy boys get here. 
You think COVID's ever going to be over?